So yes, the streak, the legendary streak by The Undertaker has been broken. Uh, Brock Lesnar defeated The Undertaker at WrestleMania 30. Um, you all probably know about it by now. It's the huge, huge talking point of WrestleMania. Um, and it's so shocking. I honestly couldn't believe what I was what I was witnessing when I when I saw it happen. I, I didn't believe it. I was staring at the TV just kind of in amazement. I, I, I just thought it was a mistake. I thought it was part of some storyline. I thought something was going to happen. Um, but seeing The Undertaker lay down with the ref doing the three count, there wasn't a cheer. There was no commentary. It literally just flat flat out fell silent. Like someone died in the arena. People with their head in their hands, shaking in disbelief. I literally just I couldn't stop staring at the TV. It was honestly felt like someone had died right there live on TV. Um, and to be honest, it did. The streak died. Could take his career died right in front of our eyes. Um, to talk about the match a little bit, the match. I have to admit it was the worst Undertaker match I've seen in years and years. He was slow, um, he really didn't kind of seem into it anymore. He was talking um, too much. He was supposed to, he was talking to the ref and things and he, he wasn't making it silent. It was like he was just giving up. Um, there are a lot of people speculating that this wasn't meant to happen, um, that Taker kind of did it himself, just kind of laid down, took the three count. Um, but I don't know. I think I think they did intend the streak to end. But I just I can't understand why Brock Lesnar. Why did Brock Lesnar end the streak? Um, he doesn't need it. He's already kind of made a name for himself. I did think that if the streak was ever going to end, they might give it to an up and coming, up and coming superstar to really propel their career. Because obviously beating the streak is something you would always remember in your career. You always be known for. But I don't think Brock Lesnar is not going to be known for beating the streak. He's going to be known for being Brock Lesnar. He's already made that name for himself. So he didn't need to beat The Undertaker. Um, I always thought that The Undertaker would want to lose. I did think he would want to lose the streak to someone. But I didn't think it would be um, on such an odd number as 21-1. and 1. I thought he might go to 25 or something. Uh, maybe lose it to John Cena. Possibly Kane, his brother. Um, or someone bigger like The Rock or something like that but just not Brock Lesnar I didn't think Brock Lesnar would end the streak it was very shocking like I said the match was very very slow paced it was a really boring match um, kind of kick out after kicking out after finishing moves like choke slams, tombstones and stuff it was your typical stuff Brock Lesnar hit a third F5 and I'm thinking there we go there's another take a kick out and he didn't, he didn't kick out and I was just like what what have I just seen? Um, Twitter blew up. Everyone talking about it. Like I said, the whole arena was just ruined. The rest of the the rest of the night, it was a really strange aura about the arena. No one was speaking. Um, it really took kind of a lot of Daniel Bryan stuff in the last match to get the crowd going again because everyone was just shocked about it. Undertaker. Um, like I said, I, I do think it was planned. I don't think it was an accident. I don't think Taker just gave up and laid on the mat and took the three count. I think it was planned, but I just don't see kind of what this means. Maybe it was a, a ploy to lure Brock, Brock Lesnar into staying full time. Because I don't. If they lose Brock Lesnar again now, if Brock Lesnar disappears for months on end like he does before, what an absolute waste of a legendary career from the Undertaker if if Brock Lesnar now disappears as well. Um, I hope to God that Brock Lesnar is now staying on full time now that he's beat the streak. It's, it feels weird saying that, that someone's beat the streak. I never thought I'd see the day I thought he would retire um, or for a small chance let someone up and coming beat him at maybe 25 and 1 or something. Not 21 and 1. Very strange number. Um, but wow. The Undertaker lost at WrestleMania. <laughs> um, that's obviously the end of Undertaker now. I don't think, we're, well, we're not going to get any more Undertaker WrestleMania matches. It means nothing. Um, there was speculation about him facing Sting next year. But to be honest, I was watching the match before it happened. I was watching the match thinking, I don't think Undertaker's got it anymore. He, he was very slow, very kind of worn out. He's old. He's had a, a very, very good career. He can't keep doing it for much longer. Like I said, I thought it was on his last legs, but I didn't think losing to Brock Lesnar was the end of Undertaker. Um, I honestly, I strongly believe that we won't be seeing Undertaker anymore. Um, I think that's it, him. I think that's him done now. His career's finished. He's lost at WrestleMania. 
he's lost the only thing that kind of was keeping him in the company. Um, but the big talking point is where this leaves Brock Lesnar now. If he disappears, huge waste. Maybe he's going to be staying, uh, battling Daniel Bryan for the, the world title, possibly a big feud up till next WrestleMania or something. But it's just so shocking to see the streak over. Um, literally, that's all everyone's talking about, really. I know Daniel Bryan won the title finally, but the big talking point is Undertaker. And it was very, very shocking to see. Um, like I said, it felt like someone died. Um, I just couldn't stop staring at the screen, man. <laughs> but, um, let me know what you guys thought about it, because obviously it's a huge, huge talking point. Even kind of people who don't watch wrestling are like, Undertaker lost at WrestleMania? What? What's going on? But it's like, it's that big news. Everyone sort of knows The Undertaker and that he doesn't lose in Mania, but now that he's lost, and especially as someone like Lesnar, is very confusing. Um, and yeah, I am very intrigued to see where this goes now. We're in a world where the streak is no longer existent. Maybe maybe he should have lost it to Punk last year. That would have been, been a bit more worthy. Uh, but it's just the fact that Brock is part-time. He's not always there. And he's just beat the streak. I don't, I don't get it. Um, leave your thoughts down below, guys, on what you think of this crazy, crazy event. Um, obviously, it's very, very shocking. Thank you for watching this video, guys. Um, like I said, please like it, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff. I will be talking about wrestling quite a lot lately because of the big, huge stuff that's going on. Um, so, yeah, thank about, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you on my next one. The Undertaker just lost at WrestleMania. I, I can't get my head over that. That's great.